Hi there. Welcome to SOP2 Commando course. Uh, in this course, we will see how we can implement SOP2 controls uh, in 2025. As a case study, we will consider a fintech company based in Malaysia, which needs SOP2 attestation. So let's begin. A quick introduction. I'm AJ, working in IT industry from past 15 years. I was associated with companies like Vipro, Infosys, some of the clients in APAC and MENA regions. Uh, for cybersecurity insights, you may follow me on LinkedIn page. You can scan this QR code right down here or follow this URL. It will take you to my LinkedIn profile. Also, do check out our cybersecurity services at Secure Cyber Gates. Or we deal with cybersecurity services like PAPT, VCSO, Risk and Compliance, uh, DevOps Security, uh, creating cybersecurity contents, and dealing with software testing. Now for SOC 2, we will take uh, a case study of a fintech company based in Malaysia and uh, that deals with end-to-end -end loan management. Okay, so uh, this is the website. This is just for a demo purpose. So let's say Juristech is a company uh, that deals with uh, delivering end-to-end -end loan management solution to various banks. So they have multiple products. Example, let's say a customer want to apply for a loan uh, and it is a full cycle, means example, they want to apply and there are some rules written at the background based on which the loan can be approved or rejected. Okay, So they have a digital customer onboarding, uh, auto decisioning, document collection, uh, some other products. Okay, this, all these are related to banking. So they have loan origination, credit administration. Uh, so you can see there are a lot of products by this company. And uh, they have, uh, you know, uh, a lot of products. Now, for these products, uh, there are some kind of security uh, measures in place, security controls on how they are securing these products. Uh, the physical address uh, example, this is in Kuala Lumpur, based in Kuala Lumpur, and they operate from uh, uh, one floor, okay? So they have only one physical location. And uh, they have approximately 200 to 500 employees. Uh, some of them work from office, and if there is a need, they work from home, or uh, some of them permanently work from remote place. And this is the website, okay? So as this customer, uh, as this client, the customer would be from banking sector and they are quite strict. Like, you know, they will, get, they will do a due diligence, like show us uh, what kind of uh, security controls you have for your, secure, for your, for your products. So, uh, before getting any project, uh, tech, for Juristech, the clients ask if they have a ISO 27001 or a software as a part of a due diligence. Or example, they do an audit and check what are the policies related to cybersecurity are in place. Are they doing VAPT on a regular basis? And how secure is the product and process? Okay. So let's say AJ is hired as a CISO or security manager. And now Juristech wants uh, AJ to research and drive this program. Uh, to get a global certification or att att attestation as soon as possible, okay? So they have three to six months of time frame. And in this time frame, uh, they want uh, us to research and get a solution so that they can, they can show the certificate attestation to the client and get confident, okay, we are secure. We are building secure product and this is the certification or this is the attestation from top 2 Now we will cover more details of this company. Uh, in due debit in stage, okay, this is just a short introduction of what would be the case study for this sub 2 okay. 